This is KARK4 News at 1230. Welcome back. March is National Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, and it's the third most common cancer in the U.S. and second leading cause of death from cancer. Dr. Burns, he's here this this afternoon, I guess it is now, and he's part of a team at CHI St. Vincent of surgeons working to stamp out colon cancer. And I just learned that it's blue and we dressed appropriately today. We did. Look at that. <laughs> Tell me why it's called the silent killer, why colorectal cancer is called that. Well, we, we see so many patients come in and say, we, I never had any symptoms. And um, they're, they didn't get testing because of that. So the, the reason why it's a silent killer is most people do not present with symptoms. So how would they know to get tested? Is it just something that you do every other year? How does that work? Well, most of the time it is an age. So when you get 50 years okay. old, that's the average. If you, you should go get screened with a, with a colonoscopy. Um, obviously, if you have a family history, you should go earlier, depending mm -hmm. on when that family member was diagnosed. Okay. Uh, is it easy? Painless? Yes. Uh, <laughs> that's Somewhat painless. Interesting tell it, um, Certainly, it's something that everyone can do easily, so okay. it's a colonoscopy. The biggest thing that people complain about is the prep. Um, so once you're done with the prep, the actual procedure itself, you're pretty much asleep, so you don't remember anything. You're a surgeon. You see this probably often or not often? Often, okay. yeah. So twice a day in clinic today. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And what do you do after you're, you're diagnosed? What does the treatment look like for, for colon cancer? Um, it depends on uh, whether it's colorectal cancer. Okay. Um, if it's colon cancer, most of the time it's, it's removal, resection, and we do that laparoscopic. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, depending if someone has had previous surgeries. And so we have to schedule the surgery, remove that part of the colon, put it back together again, and then we then find out the stage through pathology. So tell me again, how old, what are the ages that you need to get start getting tested at? So for a uh, majority of people, it's 50 years old. Uh, African American is 45. Um, and then if you have a family uh, history, that you'd want to talk to your physician. All right. So remember, it is Colon Cancer Awareness Month. If you're 45 or 50 or above, or younger than, a, a, we'll say 45, 55 years young. Yes. Yeah, 50 years old on most people, 45 <laughs> for African American. And, and just uh, if you have any symptoms at all, so that's very important. Most people don't have symptoms, but if you do have symptoms, bleeding, pain, uh, talk to your uh, primary care doctor, go to a, a, a GI doctor to, to be uh, evaluated. All right. Thanks for being here. Thank I appreciate it. Thank you very much. We'll be right back with much more Care Before News at 1230.